with the Underground Youth. Um, I'm Craig. I play guitar and sing. Uh, Leo plays guitar. Uh, Ollie on drums and Max on bass. That's great. Where are you guys from, actually? Um, we're based in Berlin um, as a band, uh, but we come from all over. Um, northeast of England, northwest of England, um, Sweden, and Russia. Um, I read some of your story as well, and you know I've seen like you guys have like how many like pretty much like one record per year. And um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's been, been pretty, pretty, pretty consistent. Pretty for, consistent since yeah. the beginning. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about like how how do you guys get so much you know music coming over. Um, it, it's I don't know. It, 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 it's hard to like not sit down and write or like to think about things and you find this constant process is healthy to as a band I think um, so we try and I mean we do a, quite a lot of touring um, but it's we try and record as much as we can and re release as much as we can and um, I just think that's the best way to keep the creative flow okay. as a band and um, something that was very interesting that we were talking before what was the the reason why you guys moved from um, the UK to Berlin? Um, I mean, personally, for, for me and Olio, it was, uh, we'd, and I think Max to a degree, um, we were sort of bored with Manchester in a certain way. Um, not that it's a boring city, but just that we felt we'd got them as much out of it as we, we could have got. Um, so at that point, um, we wanted to move somewhere in mainland Europe, and Berlin had a lot of good features going for it. It's a lot cheaper to live. Um, to the point where we can actually make money from making music and live live from that. Um, we had a lot of friends who made exactly the same move in the music industry and, and ba similar bands. Um, and yeah, there's a really great community there. The, um, you know, a really nice scene of people who help each other out, put on shows, uh, promoters and um, people involved in music and arts in general. Um, I'd just like to say that we are Europeans. <laughs> yes. Right in this moment, that's yes, very good. Yeah, yeah very, very special. So. Yeah. Uh, to, 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 to create a, a distance between ourselves and what's going on in the UK at the moment is quite important for, okay. me, for me and Max specifically. You know, it's like we were talking before a little bit uh, with Max about, um, you know, you guys have like this type of venues that you guys in the U do in the UK, whereas in Western Europe you have like a different type of venues. Why do you think that might be the reason? Uh, the difference in sort of venue, I mean, everywhere in the, everywhere we've been to is different to a degree, and there's different ways of people, like communities that different take care of it in a different way. Um, I think some places put more um, emphasis on the, the business side of things, like the money making side of it, and then some of it is like a passion project. Um, there's been there's been there's been a decline of the small venue in the UK because nobody gives a shit about it when they should do. People, for example, in Manchester, move in next to a music venue and then complain about the noise. And it's like, well, you want to live in a city center and complain about the noise of a music venue? Don't fucking live in the city center, you know? I think a lot of the small music venues in the UK have been pushed out uh, by, you know, just, it's money, isn't it, you know? There's, there's no other way to describe it. And Considering your music that you have like these so many records that you've been doing in this last um, 10 years, right? Um, how did you guys actually evolve through the music or I mean any different creative process or any other influences that you guys been like joining into your music? Um, I think it's, it's like, again, like I say, like the importance of continuing to create um, to have the prolific output, but to change the process every time. Um, so, like the last record, for example, was the first time we'd gone into the uh, rehearsal to our space together and recorded as a band and wrote the songs together and recorded it live. Um, so this is completely different to anything we've done before, especially going back to when I first started the band 10 years ago and it was just me in a bedroom with some basic equipment. Um, so it's, it's to keep the sort of the momentum of the, the enjoyment in the creative process. Yeah, it's different. Like, I mean, like, it's like we're playing a lot live and so like it's... It's, it's changed, uh, you know, you know, to like going and do something to record live, rather than sort of like you know multi-tracking everything that we did before. 
uh, which has been good. But I mean, this is a lot on Lenny. Yeah, Leo. Leo is the producer of the records as well, okay. so it helps to have him as part of the band, and and uh, you know the whole approach is done uh, by people within the within the group. So, so you guys remain on this. Uh, what I read in other blogs or other interviews, like DIY mode. I mean, you guys really get on your stuff. You produce your own music. Yeah, well, Leo produces. Like, um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously there's ways of paying a lot of money to go into a big studio with a producer and an engineer and people who don't really care about the project. They're doing it for the money. Um, so it's it's much healthier, I think, for a band of our level to, to do things as much as you can yourself. Okay. Uh, keep that di DIY uh, sort of aspect to it. Yeah, a little bit like Berlin kind of style. Yeah. Well, and obviously, right? yeah, no, it helps. Like we, I mean, Leo Studio is right in the city center. It, we have a feel of the city about us when we're in the sort of rehearsing and writing and recording. Okay, so this is um, this is the first time that you guys are coming to China. Yes, this is going to be the first day. And um, from you know all the countries that you guys been already, like what was like this concert that you guys said, like what a fantastic, you know moment there I, I, most places we go especially when you go somewhere for the first time but yeah like the obvious ones that stand out i mean our biggest fan base is in greece um so we okay. go and uh, like play in athens and, and thessaloniki and uh, huge crowds really nice venues and uh, yeah and then you go from that and you play in somewhere for 20 people but it doesn't necessarily mean it's worse or like it's it's still an experience uh, this time last year we were touring through eastern europe through yeah. russia and ukraine and Uh, down into the Balkans, and it was some of the, it was our first experience with a lot of these countries, and yeah, it's different. You know, some big venues, some small venues, and different treatment every time. But you, that's part of being on the road as a band of our level. It's okay, the experience of different different conditions. Great, and now you guys are going to be um, doing a couple other cities in China, then Japan, then you guys are going, you know, continue touring after. Yeah, we we return from Taiwan, and then we have few weeks back in Berlin um, and then yeah we're on the road for two months after that just through Europe um, pretty much everywhere uh, how do you guys do this uh, you know how's the creative process while doing uh, uh, you the, know the road I tours, think the right? creative process takes a bit of a back step when we're actually on the yeah. on the road I mean you never like sometimes yeah we did uh, I mean sometimes uh, like not on this new album but on the other one before we did the cover of Lee Hazelwood the Austrian Love Like we come with that uh, sound check just because we've been listening to it in a van and like we sort of rearranged it at the sound check because that's what we've been listening to and it was nice and it was fun to play. Okay. So you never know, sometimes like maybe uh, something will pop up and uh, you know, okay. that's part of the creative process as well. Well, yeah. I, think, I think as well like um, actually playing live a lot together and you get yeah. to know the way that we play and I, I think that influenced the, the tours we'd done previous up, to, up into the last album we just recorded. Uh, because it was very much a live recording using the sound that we use on stage mm -hmm. and that's something we've been honing for the last few years so. and so basically we can expect another album at the end of the year i suppose or oh, <laughs> yeah. let's see um, let's see i mean we're already march right What, what's uh yeah it's going to be a double album uh <laughs> double gatefold sleeve <laughs> uh, yeah maybe we take some time off after the tour but uh, we'll see yeah it's uh, Oh, finally, after, after all no, this I don't know, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's aspects of the holiday aspect of, of being in a different part of the world, so, um, but yeah, it's nice to take time off as well. Okay, that's what... Like in a concept album. In a concept album? No, we don't know the concept yet. Okay, yeah. it, it will be concept for sure. I mean, then we, okay. Well, so, um, would, you, would you mind to say, like, you know, a couple of words for those who are starting to make their music? How do you guys, like, uh, you know, what was the key for being so consistent as well? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, totally it, it is like I, I think the biggest advice you can give to like a, a, a young, but like the, it, it's, it's a lot goes into playing shows and being on tour. And like the more you, I mean, the internet is an oversaturated market with new bands and new music, and it's hard for anyone to hear it, even if you're part of a scene and someone can push you in the right direction. But if you're actually out on the road playing cities and introducing yourself to new people, I think that's the best way you can sort of take that next step. Um, it's. Yeah, sure, it's like There's uh, an old saying, uh, how do you get to the Albert Hall practice? <laughs> <laughs> I've, never heard, I've never heard that before. Is, how do you say if you're American, how do you get to <laughs> Carnegie Hall practice? <laughs> never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said it like this if you coined it. But. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. That's mine. That's yours now, yeah. at least. Well, I, I really want to appreciate you guys for your time and like uh, you know willing to actually yeah, no accept to the to the interview. And then uh, hopefully I see you guys in Berlin whenever you guys are doing that break. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye Cheers. bye guys. Thank you. Cheers.